the marriage blessing, and the principle for lasting love, good sex, and true parenthood. Martin Mayher, excerpt from chapter 7. In the absence of God's true love, there is a hole in the heart of every human being. People try to fill this hole with anything or anyone they can find. Travel, winning the career race, doing the Wall Street thing, meditation, yoga, self-help, alcohol, going to all-you-can-eat buffets, golf, the quest for the perfect body or at least the flat stomach, Facebook friends, SMS flirts, sex, counseling, therapy, positive thinking, the law of attraction, girlfriends, boyfriends, a beautiful wife, a wonderful husband. But nothing works completely and permanently, even the best of people, honest, responsible, loving human beings who are able to maintain comparatively good marriages and establish more or less stable families fall short. There is no heaven on earth for anyone, anywhere, ever. So people count their losses, settle for less, except what seems inevitable, become realistic, and learn to get by. Some become quite good at covering up the hole, but it is there nonetheless, asserting its existence at inconvenient times and in painful ways. No matter how much newlyweds are convinced that their love will defy the odds, is exempt from suffering, and will last until the stars fall from heaven, they somehow end up being shortchanged by life's experiences. No matter how parents invest themselves in raising their sons and daughters with all the love they can muster, in times of stressful agitation, they feel their patience running out and personal inadequacies interfering with their sincere intention to give the best to their children. The American band Extreme sang in its hit song, Wholehearted, that a circle does not fit where a square should be. This square is the four-position foundation, the basis for ultimate human fulfillment and happiness. At its apex is God, the heavenly parent, the source of life, the spring of love and the origin of pure human lineage. Reverend Moon speaks about God from immediate personal experience. God is the parent of all parents to man. He has the absolute love that surpasses the love of even model parents. With that love, he can embrace all the parents of the world. In fact, God created man from his parental love. Without that love, we die. How many times during the day are you aware of God's existence? How many times during 24 hours do you feel God's presence? God is something you need even more desperately than air. God is something you need more desperately than water. God is more precious than your meals. You, yet, do you really feel this? God is not a fan fantasy or a conceptual God nor is he an abstract God. With his leadership in our daily life, he is always the master of our daily circumstances. He does not just receive attendance, but is living together with us by sharing love. This sounds like a dream. End of quote. With God at the pinnacle of the four-position foundation, laterally there are a man, God's son, and a woman, God's daughter, growing forever in the infinite love of God and the ever-expanding love for each other. Quote, Husbands, the woman standing before you is God's daughter. Also, before she is your wife, she is humanity's daughter. If you can love her as God's beloved daughter and a woman whom all humanity loves, then you are qualified to be her husband. Do you have such regard for your wife? Men who do not respect their wives are not true husbands. Wives, you should not think that your husband only belongs to you. First, he is the son of God. Next, he represents all the men in the world. 
You should become a woman who can love this man more than all humanity can and love him more than God loves him. Such a husband and wife are never short of love for each other because their hearts are forever replenished by the true love of God. The well never runs dry. The fire never extinguishes. Love ever expands. As science tells us, the universe itself does. At the base of the four-position foundation are children who see the image of the living God in their own parents, true parents. They never thirst for love or understanding because their parents are channels of the limitless love of God. There, at last, is a way to break through the glass ceiling of man-woman love, to put an end to the war between the sexes, and to establish true, beautiful, and lasting love between husband and wife in marriage. It is called the International Marriage Blessing Ceremony, and it is available to anyone in his or her 20s or 30s, 40s or 50s, 60s or beyond, already married, engaged, or entirely single. There is a way to eliminate unfaithfulness, divorce, family breakdown, and all the barriers that sabotage understanding and intimacy between man and woman. It is true love in the blessed family. This video is a production of the School of the White Crane. Hi, my name is John Brooker. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and please share this video with family and friends and on social media. May God richly bless you, my beloved.